It was very, very clear to me from a young age that young people were just not being listened to in any way, shape or form. My name is Matteo and I'm the CEO and founder of Shoutout UK. Shoutout UK is a social enterprise. Social enterprises are essentially businesses that are making a positive impact on the world. We still make a profit, but it's what we do with that profit that is different. And that is that we reinvest it to make positive social change. Our mission is to get more young people engaged and involved in politics by running political literacy and media literacy programs in secondary schools and colleges. Political literacy is about understanding how things work, from how a bill becomes a law to the role of the monarchy in our democracy, basically how our society functions. Media literacy is about being able to critically analyze the information we receive online, offline, TV, radio, wherever you get your information from. It's important to be able to tell what is real from what is fake. My parents migrated here from Italy and mum was always interested in politics, so you used to talk to me a little bit about it. So I have a little bit of knowledge about Italian politics, but I wanted to learn about the politics of the country that I was born in, which is the UK. So I was lucky enough to go to a, a college that taught A-level government and politics. I studied it and absolutely fell in love with the subject. But I always found that a little bit bizarre while studying it, of why isn't this being taught earlier? Like, why don't we learn about how our democracy functions? We're all citizens in our democracy, so regardless of what career or job you end up doing, politics will impact your life. So why aren't we learning about it? So at university, I studied politics and history. And whilst in my first year, I started up a blog, um, which basically was just ramblings about why I thought political literacy should be taught in schools. Little did I know that that was the kind of start of, of Shout Out UK. Just before the end of my degree, the Brexit debate started to become a massive thing. And of course, Trump got elected around that time as well. So suddenly, schools were interested in teaching their young people about politics. And that was amazing for me and amazing for, for my startup business. We managed to get some startup funding. And from there, I managed to turn it into my full-time job the moment I left uni. It all happened kind of by accident, really. I mean, I, I didn't go out wanting to start a business or wanting to work for myself. I just really wanted something to change. The most important quality to have, I think, is passion. If you're not passionate at what you do, then don't start a business. The other thing I would say as well is that you need to be able to take risks because you're gonna to have to make a lot of decisions whilst you're running your own company. And some of them will work out and some of them won't. And you have gotta be okay with that. In terms of skill, I think you need to be a bit of an all rounder. And what I mean by this is having a good understanding of drama, for example, will help you with your public speaking. Having a good understanding of English helps you with your communication. And of course, having a good understanding of maths helps you better understand what your accountant is gonna to say to you. Finally, I'd say it's important to be confident. Now, I'm not talking about massively outgoing, but confident that you know what you're doing is right. I remember in year three, picking an after school club that had a very strange name, and it turned out to be judo, which is a martial art. And I absolutely fell in love with it and carried on doing it up until university. Judo really helped me um, overcome my shyness because believe it or not, I was an incredibly shy child when I was younger and it allowed me to connect with people and really grow as a person. At secondary school, I really liked history and I loved geography and the idea of being able to understand how the world works and so on. I also loved DT and sports, but I knew from about 15 that I was married to politics. I struggled with maths a bit when I was at school. There were bits that I, that I liked, and there was this one teacher I remember that really brought the subject to life and you know, brought maths and all of his elements into the real world, and it really resonated with me, rather than just, you know, here's a bunch of equations and go do them. I absolutely love the fact that there is now a course that you can take that uses maths to help you make sense of the world. It's phenomenal. If I had my chance to do it all again, I would 100% take level three core maths alongside my A-levels. I never thought I'd actually use maths in my job, but I definitely do. I mean, our media literacy courses are all about using statistics and of course showing how statistics can be manipulated or changed to fit a certain narrative. Just being able to understand the news or current affairs, uh, you're gonna have to use maths in some form or another. 
I also use maths in my business finance. I have to create spreadsheets. I have to predict trends. I have to uh, understand my cash flow position as well as my profit. It's funny because at school, I remember thinking like, when would I ever use algebra again? And of course, all the formula that you put into spreadsheets is very much algebra. Maths literacy, media literacy, and political literacy are all incredibly important and also incredibly intertwined. I mean, with media literacy, you need to understand statistics, graphs, and numbers. For political literacy, you need to be able to understand voting systems and elections. And the beauty is that with level three core maths, you can do all three in one course. If I could, I would tell my younger self to worry less. As a kid, I was always worried about what people thought of me and that made me shy. And then when I started Shout Out UK, I was worried that will we have enough cash at the end of the month? Would people like the course and programs that we were running? And then when I hired my first employee, I was worried like, will we have enough cash to pay them? And then I quickly realized that actually, you just gotta handle it. And what people think of you really doesn't matter. The one thing that I always say is get involved. I remember a quote that says, if you don't do politics, politics will do you. And I think, that could not be more true.